Are you burdened by the rising cost of light switch covers? I know that this is first on your mind of things that you need to prioritize is can I make my own light switch covers? The good news is you can with only a small investment of a 3D printer, an AMS system, and 3D printed filament, you too can replicate your own 58 cent outlet covers and switch covers just like that. So we're going to get into a really quick video here showing you how exactly you can save so much money after spending hundreds of dollars that you can replicate these yourself. Now, right before the build, I do have uh, a orthographic projection view of what I made as my measurements for the covers. Now, understand that these are going to be different depending on your specific situation, how big you want your piece to be, what your design is, etc. These, is, this is what worked best for me, so I'll leave that there. Uh, in the event that you don't necessarily want to watch through the entire part uh, of that, um, again, that is down there for you to take a look at. Um, so, any suggestions? Again, I would appreciate it. Um, any comments? Anything down below? Um, but let's hop into the build here. All right, so getting right into the build here. New project in Fusion 360. So what I'm gonna do is create sketch, go on my front plane here. And then what I'm gonna do is use my create, put a rectangle, center rectangle, click on my origin, and I'm going to make my project 75 millimeters by 120 millimeters. Hit enter, and that's gonna be the starting rectangle for my project. All right, next step, I'm going to finish sketch, and hit E for extrude. Click on my rectangle itself. I'm going to pull that out five millimeters. Hit enter. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the cutout for the actual switch itself. So I'm going to click on the front. I have my origin here. Do the exact same thing. I'm going to go center rectangle. Clicking on this part here. And what I'm going to make this is I'm going to make this 13 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Now, I'm going to click on the shape itself. E for extrude again. Cut this the entire way through. Looking good so far. Now, I saw this in a previous video that I uh, really didn't notice. You can create points in Fusion 360. So I'm gonna create a sketch going on the front here. And what I'm gonna do is go to create, and then you can actually just select points. What I'm gonna do is just make sure that it's perfectly um, in the center of my object. Okay, so I'm gonna create two points. Not super concerned with the point just yet, just making sure that they are uh, parallel to each other. I guess not parallel, but sort of parallel in line with each other, whatever you want to call it. Now, in order to set the proper dimension from these points, D for dimension tool, or just click it here from the top, the bottom here, I'm going to set this to 30 millimeters. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the bottom here. And now just to ensure that these are dead center, I'm just going to verify that one 37.5 half of 75. Exact same thing here. It's going to say it's over dimension. More of a peace of mind. I know it's there. Perfect. And we are good to go. Now, utilizing those points, I am going to use the hole command here. I'm going to make a counter bore hole. And I'm going to select each of these individual points as objects that I would like to utilize as, uh, as the point for my counter bore. Now, the counter bore itself here, what I'm going to do is change a bunch of stuff related to this here. Now, starting point, the actual counter bore itself, I'm gonna change that to a one millimeter depth and the distance of that counter bore is gonna be seven millimeters here. Now, once I have this set, my angle, I'm not super concerned about that. I want that to be the entire, entire of the way through. And then bottom part of my counter bore, I'm gonna set that to five, hit enter, and I'm just gonna verify this is exactly how I want it to be. Perfect, as long as it's going through, straight through, I am in pretty good shape here. Next, I am just going to hit the corners of these with a fillet. That way it's kind of nice and rounded and gives you that same kind of style that you have uh, on your regular outlet covers. Here, here. Am I selecting the right one? Boom. And then I'm gonna set that to a four millimeter fillet. Again, feel free to adjust these to fit your specific setting. This is just what I think looked the best. So that is exactly what I did. But again, if you need to do different things, I went through a couple iterations of these. So absolutely, as you need to, please change the measurements. 
uh, and we'll go from there. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video so far. Uh, if you're interested in 3D printing, electronics, all kinds of stuff, I do a bunch of different tech builds uh, on the channel, starting a 3D print farm as well. So a bunch of different stuff going on right now. If you are interested in this kind of content, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed. Uh, my goal is to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, I'm on track to do that so far. So any support from you all would help. Like, comment, let me know what you'd like to see next uh, down below. But otherwise, let's hop back right into the video. All right, so now that I have that done, a uh, very simple and underrated tool that I kind of also just learned about is the shell tool. So I'm going to hit modify. I'm going to click on the back of this piece, and now I'm going to make the inside thickness of this uh, maybe one millimeter to start. So at every point, it's just going to essentially give you a millimeter uh, of distance around from that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to modify that a little bit. I think I did, I think I'm going to do 1.5 just to make sure I have enough for my text to go on the front there. And then that will cut out the inner part of that and looking pretty sharp so far. So that is going to be like the main part of it. You could print this out uh, and you would be good to go as is. Um, we're going to make some decorative pieces on there um, so you can adjust this again to whatever your uh, style would prefer. Um, my wife wanted something that was just kind of clean, simple. The black and white aesthetic I think is, is really, really sharp. So from that point forward... What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on the front part here. And what I like to do is I, I put a nice little border around mine. So I'm going to go offset, click on this piece here. I'm going to bring this in just a little bit. Let's go maybe negative one. I'm going to do the exact same thing just on the inside a little bit here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on that again. Oops, let's do this, I guess. I didn't know that wasn't an option. And let's do maybe negative three. That way we have like a two millimeter border the entire way around. Now, once I do that, I'm going to finish my sketch and all of these bodies here, I'm going to turn into their own components. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Okay. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to do is click on just this section. I'm going to extrude that down and I'm going to go to a one millimeter depth. So once I have that one millimeter depth done, um, at that point, did that work? Oh, what did that do? Just this extrude. Oh, negative one. That might help. I promise I know what I'm doing. Oopsies. Okay, perfect. So now that I have that done, okay, I'm going to keep that as my first component. And now if I click on that same bottom section and I'm going to hit extrude again, now I'm going to go to one millimeter. The issue with that is it looks like it wraps back up. So in order to make two separate pieces to print them multicolor, go to operation, new component. Then if I click OK, now I have two separate components. Again, one is going to be the actual body. The other is going to be uh, the border. That way I could print them multicolor, change that. Now, um, another thing, a super simple design that I did is I just put like a welcome home on the front of it. I thought it came out really nice. You could do whatever kind of text you wanted to do as well. So let me just kind of do that basic thing again. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to do my text box here. I'm going to go just a little bit above that and I'm just going to type in welcome, making sure that it's centered as much as possible. And you can select whatever text you would like to as well. I thought like um, a nice little uh, like design such as this would be pretty cool. Um, just a little, little different. And then I'm going to increase my size a little bit here until I fill out the majority of that, I think 12 looks good. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing kind of on the bottom and that will be my home section. So again, just about to the point there, like okay. And this will be home. That looks pretty solid. I'm gonna click okay. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did previously. Where I'm gonna select this option, hit extrude, select this option as well. Now this time, I'm just going to go negative 0.5 here. And the reason being is previously when I did this, I had an issue with um, the actual piece kind of cutting too deep. And you don't really need much of this design. Um, so now what I can do is I can click on each of these individual pieces as I hit extrude. Click on the bottom of these. That way it's all tied into one extrusion. Okay, And I'm going to do the exact same process as I'm going to bring this out. 0.5, make sure that I change this to a new component as well. 
as I click new component, I click OK one more time. And now what I like to do just to make sure again, everything is as simple as possible. I know these two are going to be the same uh, color, the border, as well as the letters. So I take the border or the letters, excuse me, and put it into the same component. Now if I would hide both, you can see that I have them tied correctly where I have the body and then I have the actual text itself. So from this point, now I just need to extrude, uh, I'm sorry, uh, export my pieces. So at this point, what I'm going to do is again, file 3D print, select the component. That's going to be my body. Click OK. I'll go body and then body uh, light cover. Click save. Oops. Sorry. Do the exact same thing. File 3D print. Go here. Click OK. We'll go text and border, light cover, click OK. Now, uh, from this point, I'm going to head into Orca Slicer, and I'll talk you through the settings there, and uh, I'll see you in a second. All right, so we are back in Orca Slicer, um, and now I have both of my pieces um, brought in. Now, if I bring these to the side, again, you can see that these are two individual pieces. So from this point, utilizing my AMS AMS system, excuse me. What I'm going to do is go into objects here. I'm going to click on the body light cover. I know I want that to be white. So I'm going to make that white. And I know that I want my text and border to be black. So I'm going to click here, make that black. Perfect. Now, in order to get these adjusted and seated properly, what I'm going to do is lay these on each individual face. So again, I'm going to click lay on face, click the front, just like that. Exact same thing here lay on face. Now, when I have two of these pieces here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on all of these at the same time, holding shift, I'm going to right click and go center. So once I right click and center, all of these are going to be lined up perfectly. It's going to look super, super sharp. Now, one of the things that you do not want to do is add supports to this section. Um, I find it prints just, oops, I find it print prints just fine um, with this counter bore if you kind of let that print on itself. You can add supports if you want to. The only issue is going to be it's going to try and print supports um, behind each layer of the welcome symbol, uh, the welcome text. So this is going to be much, much easier in order to uh, actually you know, make your, your piece uh, print nicely. So now again, you can slice that plate and this itself is going to be a super, super quick print. Um, again, the cost is going to be 66 cents. So you're saving a little bit of money there. Um, again, you only need to invest in you know, 3D printer, uh, filament, all of that fun stuff. But that's besides the point. So again, this I think came out really, really well. Um, I have some footage here on the screen of installing that kind of the final test print that I have. Um, again, I thought it was a cool little build. I was excited to do it. It's, it's fun. Um, one thing uh, just to keep in mind is you can make whatever design that you would want to do with this. You have all of the options. Uh, again, you can add some uh, cool little SVGs and stuff like that into it. So it, it was a really fun little build um, that I wanted to, to try out and came out pretty nice. So uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. That's going to be it for today. Again, really had a good time making this. If there's anything else that you uh, see that you would like me to try and build, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Any suggestions, any tips, any tricks, uh, anything like that. I, I love uh, talking with all, all of you down below. Uh, again, if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribed. Um, just thank you so much for watching the video. All the support lately has been really cool, um, and I'm excited to, to keep making uh, cool videos. So um, thank you so much. That'll be it for today. I uh, hope to see you in a future video. Thank you so much.